Well, hello, and welcome to the Painting Gamer. We aren't painting today. We are streaming. We are searching. We are seeking beautiful pictures in No Man's Sky. I am in the space station for this great system I discovered right on the border of the NMSA hub. NMSA Scout Cookies is its name. I've named one of the planets. Tigre. It's my favorite so far. I put a base computer on one of these other ones, but I actually want to build on this one. So I'm going to go take care of that. We're going to maybe do some more exploring and take some cool pictures, but I got to show you this cool planet Tigre. It's so cool. Along the way, we will talk about a little bit about what makes a good picture. What makes good for painting? What's good painting material? And thank you for joining me along the way. If you do, smash the like. Hit subscribe, tell your grandma. Have her subscribe to me. She'll be happy she did. Tigre, Tigre, Tigre. Actually, let's go take away the base commuter I already put down. If I can find it. I can't find any planets. Where'd they go? There they are. There's one. Where are they? Where are all these planets? There's a few of them. Here we go. So Hobar is a miasmatic planet. I'm not sure why I put my base computer down there. <clears throat> we'll find out when we get there. Hi Warfy, welcome! Thank you for being here. My amazing patron, you're the best. You're the bestest. I don't want to talk to you. You know, if the... um. Random traders in space had something better in their cargo, I might care. But they just always have the same fluff. I don't know, I guess some people might need them if they're running out of something that's worth a look, but I don't know. I never really want to talk to them. Yeah, we're going to do a short stream today, Warfy. Just quick, uh, before Beeble goes, we'll go raid him when he starts and normally I would be painting but Dimash got up at 5 a.m. this morning to go pick grapes uh, he's doing a cool little side gig for a week or two and helping you know helping the household stay afloat so that means that I am not as practiced at like setting up this the cameras and everything for my painting stream. I want to land right right next to it. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Yes, I got it. Um, but yeah, so we're going in search of inspiration photos today instead of painting. I got a really good one yesterday that I took a photo of. I was like, that's going to make a beautiful painting. And I will post that in my Discord later. Um, let's see, yeah, so I'm going to delete this, this, and you can see, this is why I put it here, because I kind of just liked the epicness of, like, being on a mountaintop that's above the clouds, um, I think, yeah, there is also a hot spot, like, right, right down there, <laughs> And so I think I also just thought that would be fun. You know what? I'm going to leave this base computer here because it is kind of fun. It feel It's inspiring to be on top of this little mountain, you know. I feel like a really fun build could be here. And I've never done like a low orbit um, base, so I also thought that might be a good spot to start. 
a low orbit base because I could just build up from the peak of that mountain and get there much more quickly. Oh nice, learning on the job. Now, Tigre, the planet that is so beautiful in this system that I really do want to build a base or something, is over by the ringed planet. It's the little moon. He was tough to find, actually. And while we get there, I'm thinking... I want to rename this one. Hobart was the one. Um, we'll call this one Mount Doom. Oops. Did he leave you a list to do? <laughs> no, I've got my own list. Uh, Dimash rearranged the house yesterday. It looks great. He opened up a bunch of room for activities. Um, made the house feel really open. And so I'm going to... My goal today will be to vacuum. But it is my day off, so I'm not going to, like, overdo, you know. So this little planet is tucked behind the ring somewhere. It's a moon, I think, actually. Sorry. There it is. Do you see how tucked away that is? It was so hard to find. And there it is. It's so cute. get to the sunny side. It's a really pretty green color. It's a paradise moon. And at first glance, I wasn't sure about it. Um, during the day, it's a little meh. But then at night, the way it glows is just amazing. So you can kind of see, like, uh, you know, this kind of looks like throw up. It's just like orange and green. Um, I have some cute shroomies and stuff. Um, that actually was one of those things I took a picture of that's so beautiful. I'll stop right here so you can see one. Hi, Moose! Just doing a quick stream here before Be Bold, looking for some inspiration photos. Um, I took a photo of one of these things yesterday on this planet. Look at these. Oh, how pretty is that? I really want to paint, paint that. <clears throat> I just think it's so gorgeous. Uh, but the nighttime, the nighttime on this planet, y'all, is to die for. Also, these guys, look at how cute and fuzzy he is. Oh my god, come here, buddy. Look at him, he's a puppy. He's a puppy with armor. It's like legit a puppy. <laughs> I love him. And they have these little, like, stegosaurus cows that the puppy eats is very funny. <clears throat> I 
They make me think of peacocks. Yeah, totally. They have that shape. Uh, I was also thinking like like a whale tail, like a really colorful whale tail sticking up out of the ground. But they're super beautiful, and I'm, I'm I took a photo yesterday that I think will make a good painting of those. Then I'm gonna drop. Let's see. Um, now I want to get to the non-daytime side. So, let's go like this. And... There we go. And you'll see why I named it Tigre. You can start to see the glow coming on. All right, it's not everything, come on. Find a good place to land here. <clears throat> oh, there it is, it's popping in. The glow. Look, it's yellow and it's stripy and it's so cute. So yeah, not not much to look at in the daytime, but I mean the colors at night I just really love. I just think that's so cool. Look at those stripes. And other people may have seen seen these but um I haven't really seen a lot of the yellow um a lot of the yellow effervescent planets effervescent don't think that's the right word look how cool this picture is this is this is a cool picture so one of the things I was it kind of looks like my character's like peeing there's definitely a plant that is not well placed right now we can change that. We can move. We can just move a little bit. <laughs> um, oh, and now my stripes have sort of moved on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out of camera mode. Wait for some strong stripes. There's some good ones there. I kind of like having the silhouette very strong right there in the middle of that pink. Uh, planet um, swoop, planet swoop. Oh my gosh, I'm just making up all kinds of fun words today. Um, so getting the right, there we go. With the planet on the edge and I might back up just a little bit. See, that's pretty. I like that. And framing a photo, it's kind of like, what do you want more of, right? Do you want more of the yellow texture or the pink swoop? I think we'll go with more, heavier on the pink swoop. Oh, hello, Piwacket. How are you, sir? Tell me more. You want some food? Is that what you're saying? Yes, he is upset by the lack of food in the bowl. That looks sweet. Thanks, Moose. Yeah. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to take a photo here. Because that could be a good painting. Some fun colors there. Yellow, blue, pink. Very fun. Very, very fun. Although luminescence is really hard to paint, to be honest. Uh, but we'll see what we can do. Be fun. Kitty. Yeah, that's Piwacket. 
complaining. He's wanted to lodge a formal complaint. Yeah, those stripes are hard to get in photo mode. <sighs> I like this planet a lot. Ooh, any hotspots nearby? No nearby hotspots. Well, I think what I'm going to do is just save that journey, finding a hot spot on this planet for later, and we'll go do some more exploring. So yeah, we are in the 905, just on the border. I, I was exploring in uh, Scottish Rod's 904 area, and wound up in the 905 in my, in my pursuit of finding an undiscovered place. So this system's called NMSA Scout Cookies. It's got five planets and a moon, I think. Yeah, it's, and Tigre, the moon, is what we were just on. Just tucked right in there in the rings of the ringed planet. A lot of fun. Uh, exploring. What? Threat detected. I don't have time for that. So. This is back in the 904 area that I'm looking at. The 904 just tends to be, I don't know, everyone I've gone to has been discovered already. 904, do, do. it's a Viking planet. I love Viking systems, y'all. I just do. Low conflict. We'll go here. It's two stars. Lukaleb. Lukaleb. Hi, Rod. What's up? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Smash the like. Yeah, I um would have been painting normally, but the painting studio is uh not something I'm practiced at setting up. Dimash is my like producer guy, so he's off picking grapes today, and uh, he's actually done the p grape picking before. Warfy, um, he. This is a winery I used to work at and the harvest season is a couple weeks in the fall. It's super fun. Um, it's a lot of hard work. Ooh, first contact. We did it. We found a new system in the 904. I believe we'll just double check that. 904, 961. Yeah, that's the one. And look how fun this will be because if we discover this system... Then we literally can see the border between nine nine oh four and nine oh five. So this is nine oh four right here. Boop. And this right here is nine oh five. <laughs> so that's super fun. Um and yeah, space doesn't make a lot of sense to me because I think what is this? This is Something I have a base in. Oh yeah, this is NMSA. Yeah, so so this is fun. It's like like this is the actual border right here, <laughs> right between this system and this one. So that's super fun. It's nice you're here, Rod, because you might have to help me remember your naming stuff. It's um. Well, I can look it up on your Discord, too, I think. Um, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. We can sort of discover some of these planets. Wow, look at the clouds on that one. Corrosive. Okay, okay. Uh, what do we got over there? What do we got? Oh. Don't you hate that? When the, when the thing is hard to just get to be there. Um, you know what I'm talking about. When you scan and then like your pointer goes off just slightly. High temperature. Okay, this 
this is a mean old system. No, go away. I don't want to talk to you. Hmm, acidic. Acidic planet. SR hub T blank? And that's the amount of stars, right? Then your choose. That's right. Cool, cool, cool. turns green oh we've got the the little um, gas flowers some gassy flowers we got some gassy flowers on this planet y'all they actually make for great photos as well um, this is great ribbon prime pretty it's kind of pretty here I like the contrast of the green sky and the pink flowers So I'm trying to line up the pink gas with the um, horizon line because I'm feeling like it might be cool to paint a really nice stark horizon line and then have this really beautiful contrast over both the sky and the terrain. So That's really pretty. And of course you can take liberties when you're painting. Hi Galarak. Welcome. Hey y'all, this is just like a quick stream. Um, we're going to go raid people in just a few moments. Um, but I was just doing a quick kind of um, painting exploration, inspiration stream. Um, I've been kind of digging doing some exploring lately so um, we started in a really fun system in the NMSA right on the border of uh, Captain Steve's hub and Scottish Rod's hub so this this planet is in the system I just discovered in the Scottish Rod hub look there's even luminescent grass here but it's like in patches how cute how cute oh my gosh I love it. Hey, slow down. Fly a little higher, sir. You could have knocked me right off my rock. Um, just taking some inspo photos for painting. And we'll get back to painting on Saturdays when harvest is over. Because i got to have my cameraman producer. <laughs> uh, so this system... It's, um, yeah, Rod, the, the stars are the, um, the, the stars are the T, right? The T2. So if there's two stars on this system, it would be T2. Yeah. Um, S, R, hub, T. Two. and then it's a band name right <laughs> does it have to be a rock band or can it be any music T 
tell me, Rod, tell me. I know you're lurking, but you must tell me. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I think it can be a band, any band. Let's see, I will type in, no, <laughs> um, see, and right when you want to think of band names, you can't, you just can't, can you? Also, what, I don't want to pick a band name that already, I mean, of course, what you've already named all your other systems is probably pretty, pretty, mu pretty much music that I don't know, <laughs> um, There, oh, there's an Animaniac system. Can't choose that. Dexter's Lab, Powerpuff Girls. Oh my gosh, so it could be um, cartoons? Is that possible? Duran Duran, Fleetwood Mac. Okay, so that one came in my head. I don't want to do that. I'm looking at your um, Discord and looking at all the ones that have been chosen already. Ah, oh, there's a David Bowie one already. Ah! Oh. Okay, okay. Hmm. Lots of music I haven't heard of. So that's pretty cool, though. Um, it doesn't need to be a band. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I thought it needed to be a band. I don't know why. Um, I guess that kind of helps pick a name, because then you have a category to go through your mental Rolodex. Um... We'll name this system. Mm. We'll call it, we'll call it Shakespeare. Yep. Love it. You don't already have a Shakespeare system, do you, Rod? I'm going to call it Shakespeare 1 in case I decide there needs to be more. <laughs> Shakespeare I. <laughs> Shakespeare the first. Because, you know, there's a ton of characters and plays in Shakespeare that could be super fun. Nope. Like, nope, there's not already a Shakespeare, or nope, don't name it that. <laughs> You're saying there's not already one, right? Right, Rod? Or do you hate it? <laughs> I love Shakespeare. There's so many plays and so many characters that make great planet names. No, Shakespeare, go ahead. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I get the first Shakespeare planetary hub. It's not a hub. What am I saying? System. Ah, cool. There it goes. As our hub T2 Shakespeare won. And discovery services are on, so it's real. It actually means something. Yay. Fantastic. Cool. Uh, so I think Beeble's going to be going live here in just a minute, y'all. So let's just fly to one more planet. And see what it's like. 
Ooh, okay, so we've got like a little baby moon, it looks like. And three other planets? Possibly, probably. This one is a mechanical planet. Ooh, cool. We're gonna go here because um, all I have left to platinum this game, you guys, is uh, the zoologist achievements. I've just never uploaded any of the planets that I've scanned animals on. So, or, you know, like, uploading the fauna list. Um, I never focused on that. I never realized what I was missing. And so, like, I've just been, like, kind of on a mission to get this thing platinumed. There's really no excuse. Hi, Tom. Welcome. We're just doing a... I'm doing a quick stream. I'm actually getting ready to wrap up here. Um, just... We were kind of on a hunt for inspiration photos. Because... Um, yeah, the studio... Uh, Dimash is doing a side gig today. He's picking grapes. Making some money. And so, yeah. I just didn't have the energy to get everything figured out myself as far as camera setup and everything for the painting stream so uh it'll be coming at you soon but in place Peyton gamers just on the hunt for inspiration so when this should be one of those planets yeah where there's gonna be like one one fauna or something i think so This is a Scottish Rod uh, system that I discovered today. I'm so excited. Uh, first one in the SR Hub that I have discovered. What is going on with these clouds? Are you seeing this? Whoa. That is trippy. That is some scary Atlas shit right there. Wow. Wow. Watch. And the, and the cloud's going to go past. Do, 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 do. <laughs> ah! So freaky. That was neat. I have never seen the clouds like covering things like this. Did you? That's so weird. Is this a glitch? What's going on? It's like on top of that one now. Whoa, these clouds are acting crazy. There's our critter. That should be all of them. And we just go beat a boot a boop. I get the thing. I think I get the thing. Oh, these are kind of spooky. Yes, journey milestone. So I think I need like two more. And I will platinum this game. So the next time we stream, that might be something that happens. That's pretty cool. Um, so next Saturday, we'll go around and try to platinum this game. Because I think Dimash will be picking grapes again. Um, and it's just so much easier to have someone else do my camera switching um so guys thanks for coming by super sweet of you to drop a like and say hello and here is the link to people's stream so go ahead and give them a little a little madfish raid a little uh paint and gamer raid um and that would be super sweet of you. Madfish Raid, Paint and Gamer. It's got one G in it. So let's go. Let's go give Beep some love. And thank you for joining me on my on my quick quick little inspiration hunt stream. We've had some fun. We took some cute photos. Some really nice paintable uh inspo photos. So look forward to those. You can 
welcome to come check out these systems. I'll post some pictures in my Discord. And uh, there's more planets in this system that haven't been discovered yet. So, um, what did I call it? I called it Shakespeare. This system is called Shakespeare 1. <laughs> Uh, damn too late. Hi, Nella. No worries. I was doing a quick stream because I'm just, I was hunting for inspiration, not actually painting today. We're going to go raid Beeps and, uh, call, call it a cute, a cute little stream, cute little inspiration stream. So take care, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming by. I really appreciate it. Mandrake, thank you. Oh my gosh. Mandrake, thank you for the pie. Oh, Oh, I'm imagining it's pumpkin flavored because it is that time of year. And thank you. With a little dollop of whipped cream. There it is. It's right there. Thank you. Mm, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Mandrake, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. And thank you to Warfy, our patron. And uh, anybody else who wants to be a patron, check out the Good at Game patron page. Um, I've got a lot of social media stuff to catch up on, guys, so um, links and all that, you know, well, it's getting there. We're getting organized. I'm getting settled into a routine for things, for life, you know, because if we're not thriving in our life, we can't thrive on YouTube. So thanks for all your support. We really appreciate it. And I'll see you over in the beep stream. Thanks, guys. Yeah, 07 Mandrake. 07. O, big O for Rod, because he likes it. It makes him less insane. <laughs> oh, seven Mandrake, thank you. All right, guys, I'll see you in Beep's stream. Madfish Raid, hashtag painting gamer. Bye.